Hey folks, Bridges here. Uh, quick video that is going to show you how to you how to estimate the amount of um, filament that is going to be used for your 3D print. Now remember, this is just an estimate. It's not guaranteed to be super accurate. I've tried to set it up to where it uh, estimates on the conservative side, which means when it is not exactly accurate and when it is a little bit off, when you go to weigh your final model, um, hopefully your estimate was a little bit higher than what your actual measurement is. So that way you don't get yourself in any trouble with uh, exceeding the um, constraints and whatnot. So uh, I'm going to make another video that shows how to do this using the slicing software, which is what you actually um, will need to use before you submit your files to the 3D printer. Okay, And generally, most 3D printers come with a slicing software that you install on your machine, on your computer. Okay, This particular slicing software is an open source online slicing software. And the URL for that is grid.space slash Kiri, K-I-R-I. Okay, and it's this is just an online slicer. It's not it's not perfect, but it's going to get the job done for us. Now you will see that I've gone ahead and selected my mode FDM. We've talked about that. Um, we've talked about uh, this. That's filament deposition modeling, by the way, which is three D printing the way that we know it. Um, the device we've selected our machine, which is the Creality Ender Three. It doesn't actually give us the option of the Ender 3 V2, which is what we actually have, but um, that's okay. This, this is just some rough idea how big our print volume is and so on and so forth. And then the, the um, we are using PLA, PLA for our filament. And I don't see a place to select the filament on here, but um, I'm, I'm sure if I did some looking, there would be a place to do that. So PLA is the filament that we want. So anyhow, um, what we're going to do is we're going to bring in a file. So we're going to go to files and we're going to go to import. And when you go to import your file, we're going to look at um, whatever you're, we're going to look for STL files here. So this is uh, the STL for a battle bot that one of my students is making. And it's a pretty big file. You can, you can estimate the size of it. These are millimeters on the X and Y axis, by the way. So this particular um, and I'm not going to print it this close to the edges, but this particular model takes up a space a little over 150 millimeters by a little about 100 and looks like 10 or so millimeters. Okay. And uh, there are some, some details in there that um, this would be very hard to estimate the weight of on our own. So once we've got our, once we've got our file in here, we're going to change some settings. So we're going to go over to layers. Okay, make sure that you've got the height as 0.2, that is default. Okay, um, shell count is three, that's that's default. That's how many um, layers of shell before it starts doing infill on the inside. And then the top layers and bottom layers, we wanna change to four. So make both of those four, okay? And uh, that should be good. Um, I think the rest of the settings are all good. The infill should, be, should match. Um, what your 3D printer settings are. So my 3D printer settings are on 10% infill. So yours should be 0.1 or 10%. Oh, this is an important one. Your fill type, I think grid is going to give us the best estimate for what our weight is, should be. So the rest of them, um, let's leave those other ones alone. So we'll just exit out of the, the settings over here. We've got our file brought in. All you need to do now is just go to the start button on the left and slice. And it's going to take a minute and it's going to turn this solid model into a bunch of individual slices that tell the 3D printer where to lay down plastic and where not to. Okay. And after it gets done slicing, then we're once again going to go to start and now we're going to go to export. So I'm not going to click it yet because it's still in the render mode up on the top of my screen. And as it finishes that, I'm going to go ahead and go once again to the start button on the left. Oh, it's transferring. Okay. Uh, and, and here, before I click export, you can actually see layer by layer. I can drag the slider across the bottom and see what that looks like as I build it. Okay. You can see that. That's the starting point. Um, here's the finishing point. So I can go all the way back and I can see. Okay. Layer one on up through each layer and what where it's going to print and where it's not. Isn't that neat? Okay. So once that's all done, we're once again going to go to file export. And this is where it's going to give us our estimate on mass. So 
So it took a couple more seconds and the export is complete. And now here's where it gives us our estimate on the matter. Okay, the mass. Printed weight in grams, 121 grams. Again, that's an estimate, but it's going to get you ballpark. If you're up in the thousands, then you're, then you're probably way too big. If you're down in the single digits, then you're probably way too small. Um, yep, you can do this also on your uh, slicing software specifically made for your 3D printer. It's going to give you a more accurate estimate. But for now, in this class, this is going to be just fine. Thanks for watching.